Hello everyone and welcome to another video looking at World War One soldiers. The subject of this video is William Wormersley Witchley. William was born on the in 1892 in Eccleston, Chorley Bruff Borough, Lancashire. His parents were John Witchley and Mary Jane Case. His parents had married in 1880 and had 12 children, seven of whom were living at the time of the 1911 census. By 1901, his father was working as a coal miner hewer and the family were living in Eccleston. By 1911, William was living at 4 Sagerson Court, Prescott, and was working as a carrier onto glass bottle blower. His father worked as a domestic gardener at this time. William entered the war in France on the 27th of March 1915. He was wounded at the Battle of Orbers in May 1915 and returned to England. On the 16th of June 1915, he married Lizzie May Owen in Charlton in Manchester. Lizzie had been born on the 9th of June 1890. They went on to have two children, Edmund, who was born and sadly died in 1916. Unfortunately, at this time, infant mortality was still fairly high. And they also had Queenie Dorothy, who was born on the 29th of November 1917. He was wounded again at the Battle of the Bluff in February 1916 and once again returned to England. In 1917 he had been absent on at least three occasions. The first time was overstaying leave in the UK. On the 25th of June 1917 he complained of feeling sick just before going over the top and he disappeared. Now no offensive was planned at this time so therefore any action was defensive. It's believed the action he was to be part of it was part of a trench raid gathering intelligence on the Germans. Two days later he was arrested and gave false details and once his true identity was found out his fate was sealed. He was executed at 5.50pm on the 12th of September 1917. In 1921, his widow went on to marry his brother John, who had, who had obviously survived the First World War and had been in the trenches as well. His daughter Queenie died in 2006 in Blackpool. William was one of the soldiers that was pardoned in 2006. And I'm unclear at the moment as to whether his daughter had lived to see the pardoning or whether she died before. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video.